I have a half a dozen children in our safe house program. One in particular, uh, River Stanley, being hunted by bounty hunters. And I want to bring this up real quick because I told everyone we would have good news. We, we don't have good news. Praise, praise. He knows. He knows. He knows. Sarah and River Stanley are going to be downgraded to a lower level shelter. And it's possible within the next week, they are going to be able to go into their own place with the help of our families. And they're going to be able to start over. Sarah and River Stanley, while everyone told us to not help them, everyone told us we were kidnapping a child. I have spent the past two months advocating vigorously for this little boy God put on my path. And I know when I'm whispered in my ear what to do. So I don't have no fear. I'm just going to go and go and go and praise God because he never forsakes us. Sarah and River Stanley are being downgraded because Sarah has a misdemeanor warrant in the state of Idaho, in the county of Teton, for custodial interference. That warrant would never pass a jury trial because I am a witness and I have another witness. And we witness the custodial exchange sabotage by Gary Lee Jennings and Lori Gaffney, his democratic socialist attorney we witnessed this it's documented and a judge gave gary sole custody of a child that he abandoned at birth and has not seen but for a total of seven days since his birth and what people don't understand about this particular case is with any custodial disputes I always tell everyone, I've never gone into the case believing that either side is innocent because it takes two grown-ups to argue to put a child in the situation that they're in. But in a lot of cases, you will find that responsibility, that level of antagonizing is one-sided. In River Stanley's case, his father who abandoned him, who came to supposedly pick him up when I was there. He never knew that I was there. He never knew that I had witnesses. With the day he came to pick him up, he worked with his lawyer to leave before Sarah could arrive with River. And she showed up, but he left. And a judge said she violated court orders and gave him sole custody. This is a guy who's seen this kid for seven days since he was born, since he abandoned him. Let me take that back. I want to be correct in everything I speak. Since he abandoned him. And Gary Lee Jennings actually went to Mexico after his appointed scheduling time with River had expired. He had already planned his trip to Mexico to go back down with his very friends where he does his psychedelic drugs Goes to these concerts, does his little juggling, um, everything that God has shown in related to this case has vindicated the, re the response that we provided. Now, I ask everyone to keep praying. Um, Sarah and River is absolutely safe unless prosecutor Bailey Smith decides she's going to persecute this mother who fled with her son and placed themselves under sanctuary law through our ministry. I am solely liable. And that is what the government knows when it comes to the invocation of sanctuary law. As minister of our ministry, when God instructs me to intervene on behalf of a child, well, then I'm solely liable in the court size. But, I am not the one who's liable. God's liable. I didn't make this decision myself. He put this child, this mother on my path. And there is no way they would have ever, ever crossed my path had he not done what he did and moved me the way he moved me to where I was. And I know when the spirit is moving me.
I know when it's myself and I know when it's the spirit. And as years go on and I, I grow in my faith and, and I let God just do what he needs to do, it's less of myself and more of him. And I assure everyone that River Stanley, I had every reason not to help Sarah and River. Those of you who saw the very beginning, you saw organizations went out and accused us of kidnapping a kid, that they weren't going to participate in kidnapping a child. That four-year-old boy just turned four this week, and praise God, he was with mother and children and friends who supported his mother, and that he's in a safe location. And that he didn't have to celebrate his birthday after being ripped from his mother, taken to be with a stranger, his biological father in Seattle, who wants to vaccinate him, who wants to put on a mask so he can virtue signal to his friends and show everybody how crazy his holistic Christian wife is or, you know, ex. They were never married. Um, and that's another point that most people need to understand. Now, when it comes to Sarah and River Stanley's case, I'll let you guys know that we are going to move forward with our case management. My goal is exactly what God has put in my heart. River needs a father. He needs a male figure to help his mother. That is something that God has shown me. Gary Lee Jennings has to become that father because he is the biological father of this child. But as long as he's continuing to point a loaded gun at Sarah and hire bounty hunters to track her down and continuing the pattern of abuse that he has facilitated and perpetuated over these past four years, I am not permitted to let him anywhere near this child. He has to contact me. I have advocated for fathers who have been denied their children by vindictive, spiteful mothers for no reason. I got arrested three times for Army Ranger Alex Cordero, who was in that case, being denied his son and daughter for no reason. I can assure you, Gary Lee Jennings is only being denied the right to abuse and hurt his son because he is so far brainwashed and so far into himself that he wants to utilize his child to lift himself up and make himself look like a victim when he was the one who abandoned his child. Gary Lee Jennings can always contact me and he can always work towards building reconciliation with the mother of his child, but no courts, no attorneys, no law enforcement, all of that has to be removed because God does not work within this satanic government system. For those of you who think God's given you a victory when baby Cyrus is handed back over to his family, you overlook the fact that baby Cyrus was handed back over to his family, but CPS is still getting paid with our tax dollars because they're the ones who actually have custody of this child until the family has proven themselves. Satan gives you fake victories. Sarah and River Stanley are being upgraded. Praise God. Those of you that have been seeking them and pursuing them understand if you're a bounty hunter hired by Gary Lee Jennings, I have been on the phone every week with the U.S. Marshals. I have been on the phone every week with Teton County Sheriffs. I have done my due diligence as my God would have me do. But the God you serve, if you think you're doing something righteous by going and trying to snatch this little boy from his biological mother and put him in the hands of a father who abandoned them, who made her sell her car, who took all the finances and left so he can go party with his new women up in Seattle, Washington, and go down to Mexico with his new women and do psychedelic drugs. I don't play the smear game. 
there is something that we could easily do that would that would make Gary Lee Jennings look to be as exactly as he is. But I don't have to do that. God sees everything he's done. And we don't want River growing up knowing about all the evil stuff his father is doing. We want River to grow up knowing that his father found Jesus Christ, that his father serves God, and that his father is there to protect him at all costs from any government, from anything other than God. He needs to be protected. River needs protection. And Gary Lee Jennings is the biological father. We recognize that. But right now, he remains a sperm donor, and he's continuing to hire bounty hunters, and he wants the people to donate to his GoFundMe. And and um, Sarah had mentioned she was kind of in distraught. She's like, Gary Lee Jennings, he's already raised $1,000 to hire bounty hunters to hunt me and my child down. And I had to remind her. He's had that GoFundMe up for over a month. He's had mainstream media in Idaho and even Arizona promote him. And the most he could raise was $1,000 with over $800 coming from personal friends he asked to send money because the GoFundMe wasn't growing the way he anticipated it to grow. I reminded Sarah that God has placed his shadow over her and her son. And no bounty hunter, no government, no law enforcement agency, no court system has authority over our most high God. And I know that that conversation actually brought her back down and I ask everyone to pray for her. You can't imagine the stress of a mother who's only trying to protect her son while the entire government hunts her down and tries to make it appear as if she's denying a father his rights. No, Gary Lee Jennings denied himself his rights when he made her sell her car, when he emptied out their bank account, and he fled to Seattle to party with women. This was after he created multiple enemies in this area and we have those testimonies too with bad shady real estate deals all that money he made perpetuating evil against innocent people he's been utilizing to sue to go after sarah with his attorney Lori, Lori gaffney and then he will go and show everybody that the judge ordered forty four thousand dollars in attorney fees that Sarah has to pay. No, she doesn't. She doesn't answer to that judge, Cleve Colson, a Mormon mafia judge who suddenly decided that it was a good idea to put a child in the hands of a known stranger when that stranger wants to vaccinate that child, put a mask on that child, and take that child all the way up to Seattle, Washington, denying the mother access to that child. That is what Mormon Mafia Judge Cleve Colson decided. He is not God. Our most high God, Elohim. That is God. He's our God. And our God intervened in the case of River Stanley. And I had three cases that he's provided me where we weren't there. We didn't know. So it's not on us. These are just... Cases. There are three cases I'm advocating for mothers right now who've already had their kids taken away. Three glaring cases. And then we have River and his angels. There was no mistaking when I met this little boy how special he is. And just like all children, our father loves him tremendously and our father knows the situation that he is in god knew everything from sarah's motives to gary lee jennings motives to the court motives it doesn't matter anyone's motives god knows everything and when the most high god instructs you to intervene on behalf of a child 
you must take the same walk of faith that I took. Now, it's easy for me. Fathers intervened in my life, and there's plenty of video evidence for you to see over these past 10 years that I've been known, over a decade that I've been walking closer to my father, our father, if you serve the most high God, our father, not the father of lies, not the other false gods, our father who created Adam, molded Eve from his rib, from his rib, our father, the creator. When you're given instructions from him and you feel the Holy Spirit tug on you and say, do something, and then immediately after you feel that tug, you see the enemy come in and show you, don't do it. If you do it, the people are going to turn against you. If you do it, you're going to lose support. If you do it, it's going to affect your ability to help other children. No, it won't because we are answering the call of our most high God. River was headed to death. That is a fact. Our God decided River was going to be spared. I don't know why. Sarah and River Stanley, you have been updated that they're, they're actually in a better situation. Praise God. And we're looking to move them to a place where they can have their own home and they don't have to hide. And if Gary wants to start over in another state and try to abduct his child, from the loving mother who raised his child after he abandoned his child? Well, we're there now. Now he has to negotiate with the church that is advocating for this family, that has placed this family under sanctuary law. And we are more than willing to sit down with him if he's willing to be the father. But those are steps that I would ask people to pray over. There's a lot of healing that needs to take place. There's a whole lot of admission of wrong. And I would say that this would go on both sides because I don't ever report um, dishonestly. I've, I talked with Sarah and I, I've explained to her that, that the hatred, the, um, the abandonment issues, what he's done to her, what he continues to do to her. If she allows that to manifest into hatred or want vengeance or anything like that, that she's allowing the enemy to get the best of her. And I can tell you I'm dealing with a Christian mother who loves her son. And she is probably one of the most reasonable, victimized women I've ever dealt with that's willing to sit and, and at least give God a chance. But in her case, she witnessed God move on her behalf and her son's behalf. I can tell you they were relocated a total of five times to get them to safety. I can tell you that it was probably one of the hardest cases where I had to call people and I had to put faith in God with unknown strangers I'd never met and ask them to protect her and her son until I could find the solution that would free them from the persecution that they're under. Um, God moves if we give him an opportunity to move. 